What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Sigma here bringing you another gameplay commentary for the Wii on Call of Duty. Wait, wait, no. That ain't Call of Duty. Sorry, my bad guys. That's GoldenEye. It's, it's a very difficult to tell the difference because essentially GoldenEye is just Call of Duty with a GoldenEye texture pack on it. You know, you have gadgets, which are perks. You have loadouts, which are just custom classes. You have fucking noob tubes. Can anybody tell me that did the original GoldenEye on N64 have noob tubes? I don't think it did. I think it, it had rockets, and you could. I'm pretty sure you could have dual rocket launchers, which is freaking awesome. But I don't believe it had noob tubes. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, though, if, if it did have noob tubes. I honestly didn't play that game very much. I know it was a very good game. I didn't have an N64 myself. I had a PS1, so I couldn't really play that game very much. But from what I did play, I, I don't recall there being noob tubes. So I question, why'd you put them in Activision? And that just that further you know, supports my theory that this is just... Call of Duty with a golden eye texture pack. But let's get down to the reason why I think this game is so bad. If I haven't said already, this game I think is terrible. And it's because of the three C's. Connection, controls, and curve. First we're going to start out with uh, controls because, you know, I like bitching about the controls first. So basically what I'm going to do is end up bitching about these three thick gripes I have that make this game very unbearable to play. The first thing is controls. The controls don't seem very solid. They seem very bulky, and uh, it's very, very annoying to turn the control, turn the camera, not the controls, turn the camera. And I question this when this game was made by Activision, and they have Call of Duty, and I thought Call of Duty World at War and Call of Duty Reflex had pretty good control scheme systems. systems. They weren't flawless, but they were pretty good, and I I enjoyed them. I loved World at War, especially. Only thing you can change the controls was sensitivity, and I put it on the highest thing they had, and. There you go. I had very high sensitivity, very small dead zones, and it was very fun, and I, I could turn the camera very quick, and I could enjoy the game very much. The lag shooting kind of took away from the experience, but overall, I enjoyed that game way more than I enjoyed GoldenEye, and that that's because of the three Cs, the controls being the first of the three, and uh, the bulkiness just is, is uh, added to that bulkiness as well is something completely different that you saw at the very beginning in my little spawn trap in six-man tear was the aimbot. <laughs> Essentially, you're, con you're aiming with the ADS as an aimbot, like you'll see right here. Look at that aimbot, guys. You just line up your cursor, slightly press the ADS, and it snaps right onto them. And no, I am not code running at all. I am not using hacks. I am not using codes. I'm not using cheats. You d that is built in. That is how the ADS works in this game. You basically get close enough, and the game takes care of the rest. And all you have to do is press the B button to fire, and you can enjoy killing everybody very fast. But unfortunately, what also happened there, and happens you know, a couple other times in the game, I didn't get killed by the guy that killed me, but I did die because of the result of the next C, which is connection. I mean, granted, you have to die as part of the experience, but some of this is the connection, which is the second thing. Connection is spotty at best. Sometimes you have perfect connection and not die. Like, I probably should have died right there, even though I only got hit once. There was two guys, so I'm not sure how I didn't die. But the connection is sometimes very, very good, and other times very, very spotty, which results in what you saw with Diego, where you see he I kill him, and then after, or I kill him after he, his buddy has killed me. This happens quite a few other times in this game, and sometimes I even kill the person who's killed me, and we kill each other, and that, that's just, I don't understand how that mechanic works into the game. How do you, how do you make it so it's Halo beatdown style, but for every weapon and every explosive in the game? That's what I want to know, including melees. I think you can melee beat down each other in this game. I'm not quite sure about that, but I think you can. The, the third thing we're going to talk about, though, after the, the absolutely awful, awful connection and being able to kill each other Halo style up in here is um, the level curve. You know, I've heard Battlefield 3 is a very terrible learning curve, but at least learning curves can be overcome. Leveling curve, not so much, unless, unless you have hacks, of course, which, you know, sometimes make the game more enjoyable to play if you can get other stuff, but I'm not going to talk about hacks. I'm going to talk about the leveling curve, which is very, very awful. It takes quite some time to level up a few levels. Even from, like, level 1 to level 10, it takes quite a bit of amount of play time in order to level up. And that's a result of the XP system as well as the amount of XP it takes to level up, which is very, very, very high. All right, I am level 26 at the time I'm recording this, or at time I'm making this commentary, I was level 24 in this video, and that's not even halfway through the levels, there's 56, and it takes me over 8 hours to level up from 24 to 25, it takes over 8 hours to level 25 to 26 where I am right now, it took, you know, 2 weeks for me to get just 2 more ranks, and, you know, I just find that ridiculous that it takes quite that amount of time to level up, just because, you know, I'm less than halfway through the leveling system, in Call of Duty, 
At the, at this point, I would have already re reached Commander. I have over a day of playtime at level 26. I would have reached Commander on Call of Duty at this point. I would have been able to use all the weapons at this point. I would have been able to find out what I like and what I dislike. In Golden, I don't have that experience. I'm, I get my low-level guns that I have. I can use those, and I can keep using them. Unfortunately, you don't get all the you get all the good guns. See, there's an example of the connection. Nacho killed me with an explosive. I still killed Evis after Nacho exploded me to death. But anyways, back to the learning curve. The learning curve is very hot, bad because... You, all the good guns in the game you get at very high ranks which takes very long and people that can't play all the time do not get the experience these very very good guns that you get at the higher level so these three gripes together combine to make a very very bad experience on the game and maybe the PS3 version is better I'm not sure let me know in the comments if the PS3 version fixes these issues but until then the three C's make this game very unbearable to play peace out till next time guys